Hi folks, I uh, hope you're okay and uh, it's good to see you and um, I'm just sharing a thought today that that I really believe that evolution should not be taught in schools I think uh, evolution should be stopped it should not be allowed to be taught in schools I'm totally convinced of it that we should stop right now evolution from being taught in schools that that throughout every college every university every school it has to be stopped and we must stop it from being taught in schools <clears throat> you say well why is that well let's just imagine just imagine that we developed uh, some kind of science and which helped us to have some kind of social theory about human nature and uh, the basis of this science, scientific understanding is hate and our theory and the facts and information that were developed from psychology and sociology and biology gives us this idea about hate all right, and the foundation of how we came to be and how we are was hate but as modern scientists we realize that this is not a good thing it's real we see it we study it but it's just not a good thing so what what we'll do is we'll build on this theory that we've got which is factual that we seem to have facts for uh, in our own understanding and is based on hate we have these so-called factual information but we we can't teach this in its brute uh, reality on a practical level so we'll, we'll talk about equality and love so we teach in the schools we came from hate this is hate this is what we are but this is what we're to do we're to love but the fact that you're building your foundation on hate means you're storing up uh, a cauldron within society that's going to explode and manifest itself if that's what people are taught. It's no good trying to cover it over. It's like having it's like having a cake and the cake uh, underneath the cake are maggots, but you put cream on it and you put cherries on it but underneath it's maggots it's no good putting the uh, cream and, and cherries on top of maggots it's disgusting you need you need to get rid of the maggots and put something really tasty something good some more cream or chocolate or something you know but that's what what I see with evolution evolution uh, started with Charles Darwin of the survival of the fittest and Charles Darwin in his Descent of Man works out the social implications of, 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 of Darwinian understanding and he talks about uh, the strongest civilizations should will overcome the weak and uh, it's quite it's quite a, a, a brutal kind of understanding of what it is to be human that the survival of the fittest in the end would need to to have supremacy and the weak ones we just have to realize they have to give way we need to let the stronger ones breed more etc now people like Richard Dawkins and the evolutionists today and the educators in universities and colleges college uh, universities colleges and schools will say well we evolved and this is evolution um but then which was all about the survival of the fittest but then unintelligently without any real logical reason or logical understanding move from that to kind of think well you know we can just get on as, as a society and, and build our own, own morality whatever but we've already got the seeds of our own destruction if that's what we believe if that if that is our origin 
if that is how we see ourselves, then the idea that you can develop your own morality when that is your moral foundation, that is what has been going on for millions of years and how human beings developed from that position of survival of the fittest. And then for suddenly, uh, since Darwin to say, right, we, we've been going like this for, you know, millions of years, developing survival of the fittest, but now we've realized about this evolution, even though this is endemic within our own nature of biological reality, we kind of, we know about this and we'll learn about this, but now we'll just invent our own social social uh, norms, but just push under the fact, the carpet that this, this, this is the foundation. When you've got a foundation like that, it will break through into our social structures. It will break through into our understanding of people, how we treat people. It will manifest itself in action. And you can't just put a veneer of, a crust of educated veneer and say,